so now the next chapter that we have is unit and batch costing and this chapter you have uh, uh, almost nothing to learn new uh, about the topics it is already there that you have all the details with you uh, so there is there is absolutely nothing but if at all there is a question that comes in from this chapter most probably it will be about uh, the differentiation between uh, job and batch costing so that's that's about it but uh, since we are already on it and it's only two or three pages of notes so let me just completely give you uh, the idea of it so what does it say <clears throat> firstly uh, what are unit and batch costing it is a, a method to evaluate the cost okay and uh, there are multiple ways of how you do it Uh, depending on what kind of an industry you belong to, okay. And we have already seen the definition of methods of costing. It is basically industry specific as to the kind of work that you perform, okay. So manufacturing uh, for manufacturing industry, there are usually the work is performed under two ways. One where it is um, a mass production uh, 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 schedule where you know the products are made a single product is made multiple times. and the other is where the uh, work is done job based okay for job based industries you have uh, two types uh, you can do job costing or batch costing and for that matter even contract costing is a job costing uh, situation why because every contract is unique so uh, when you are into the uh, execution of special jobs or if you are into the specification of uh, uh, customized jobs then you do uh, job costing okay job or batch or contract costing if you are into mass production then the mass production uh, is basically where one product is made multiple times uh, in number of times in that situation you make a product uh, you use a method called as process costing or service costing okay so it is a, a homogeneous product which is made again and again and again okay the size and specifications are same everything is same the the product is the same okay so uh, the that is where uh, you will be using process or service cost and then we have uh, the first part if you are into uh, uh, job based then unit costing is also one of the method uh, basically under unit costing what happens is the output is uh, identical and each uh, uh unit of output requires identity cost okay so basically uh the products are just the same okay you are making one shirt 10 times okay so so the products are the same and everything is the same the cost is the same so uh what happens is uh the uh, cost per unit basically is the total cost upon the total number of units okay so that is that is a uh, unit costing and uh, of course the rule for uh normal loss and abnormal uh, any anything loss or spoilage or defect or wastage and everything uh, the rule remains the same if the cost is normal uh, then it is uh, going to be based on uh, um, uh, it will be charged to the customer and if the cost is abnormal then it will be charged to the pnl account then you have batch costing okay and uh, uh, what happens under a batch costing uh, it is it is basically the same where uh, you know you are making uh, a shirt uh, one shirt for um, or rather you are making 10 shirts or the same specifications as i always keep telling you you guys are a batch okay within the batch everybody's requirements are the same you all are attempting a particular attempt everybody has to do uh, the syllabus in a particular style in a particular timeline uh, on particular dates etc 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 okay so that is basically a batch okay now why why do we uh, manufacture in batch because there are many a times uh, uh, economies of scale that can be achieved once you are into uh, a batch format okay many many costs can be um, reduced if you are running a batch Okay, so uh, which is why which is why um, the batch costing as a method uh, is uh, used uh, to evaluate the cost. And what happens under a batch is uh, you take up all of the uh, costs and you divide it by the number of units. This you do like in your uh, unit costing. Okay, then we have the economic batch quantity, which you already know. Uh, so I don't have to speak upon that. and then finally we have the difference between the job and batch costing now this is a question that actually can 
appear in your paper okay so um, under job costing uh, we use uh, non standard products or we use the method for non standard products uh, batch costing the products are homogeneous it is the same same requirement right then uh, under job costing the cost is determined on job basis and under uh, the batch costing the cost is determined for a complete batch and then cost per unit is arrived um in the job costing the jobs are uh, different from each other they are independent each job is unique whereas in a batch the units uh, are the same okay so everything around the batch is going to remain the same understood so that's that's all that we have in unit and batch costing it's a very small uh, topic so this is done uh, if you if you have to have a little focus uh, you should be focusing upon this last part which is the differentiation between job and batch costing because that thing that is something which is important okay so that's it for this chapter i will see you soon in the next one